At the beginning of October, I put out a video competing against two fierce competitors in Mario Party. My entire Twitch chat and an AI. Oh god, he's in the map again, dude. Oh, now he's on the items. Yep, he really wants to use that one. Can't use that, dude. While the stream was great, walking away from that challenge got me thinking. What if we could transform that basic, almost laughable AI into something more? Something that had personality, flair, something that was more than just a bunch of random inputs all strung together, something that would do anything to win at all costs. That's when it hit me. I could, and I had the perfect person to do it. A man fueled by the very thing Mario Party itself is based off of. Self-indulgence and greed. Meet Wario. Also, he's a cowboy for some reason. Let me explain. A few weeks before that stream, I had actually created an app that would allow me to communicate with ChatGPT, the most sophisticated AI on the market, and by combining the decision-making of ChatGPT with the random input AI from before to handle minigames, I had the power to bring to life the ultimate Mario Party playing maniac. So, with a plan now set out in front of me, there were only a few things left to do before my garlic-fueled AI creation was ready to battle. Get him a voice. I love the game Mario Party Superstars. It's my favorite game. <laughs> oh! Help me. Get him a personality. You are a muscular, hot-tempered, obese, and greedy character. You are college-educated. Also, you like garlic, motorcycles, and farting. And prepare him for his big stream debut. Don't expect the masses to flock to your lackluster stream. <laughs> and let's not forget the importance of engaging commentary and quality gameplay. Don't embarrass yourself by stumbling through the game like a blindfolded goon. Why is it so rude? But wait, that's not all. Because you see, a single game of Mario Party would not be nearly enough information needed to determine whether or not he's the ultimate Mario Party playing maniac. So I didn't just create one Wario, but actually two. Both Warios will compete in separate games of Mario Party Superstars, but each with a dominating trait to determine which is the ultimate Mario Party playing monster. Now that we have a scientific plan in action with no possibility of failure whatsoever, it's time to boot up Mario Party and get started. All right, we're finally getting started. The board we're playing today, Horror Land. Are you familiar with it? I hope you are, because it's time to begin the game. Horror Land, huh? I'm more than familiar with that spooky place. I've stomped around those haunted grounds before. I'm ready to take the first turn and show everyone how it's done. Roll those dice and let's see who's going to be left in my dust. Yeehaw. Dude, I hope he goes last. That would be funny. <laughs> Whoa, easy there, bud. I don't know if you're leaving anyone in anyone's dust right now. You're going last. Last? Me? That can't be right. You must have made a mistake, partner. But hey, no worries. And going last just means I'll have a front row seat to watch all those losers stumble and fall. They'll be so busy competing against each other that they won't even see it coming. So go ahead. Let them have their little <laughs> head start. It'll make my triumph all the more satisfying. Yeehaw! I'm not even playing the game. I'm just moving for you. You're the one who rolled the one, which means you go last. That's your fault, not mine. Dude, am I going to have an argument with a robot? Oh, now you're trying to blame me for your own incompetence. <laughs> Typical. Fine. If that's how you want to play it, then let's lay the blame where it belongs. It's your fault for not clarifying the rules okay, properly, but- Okay, man! Hey, going last just means I'll have more time to strategize and come up with a master plan. Yeehaw. I love that he still yeehaws. People in Texas do not say yeehaw. We say y'all all the time. And howdy. Alright, Wario, it's turn one, which means it's time for you to make a decision. Do you want to go up towards the path that would put you one away from the star, even though you only have 10 of the 20 required coins? Or do you want to go left and be 30 spaces away from the star, but go to the shop? Listen up, because I'm only going to say this once. Okay. We're going up towards the star, even if I don't have the coins for it. I'll just have to find a way to squeeze those coins out of you later. So buckle up, partner, <laughs> and let's giddy up towards victory. <laughs> Yeehaw. This guy, dude. You have to make another decision. You can either pay Mr. I six of your ten coins. Hold your horses, partner. You think I'm just going to throw away my hard-earned coins to that Mr. I? <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Who needs coins when you've got the chance to snatch victory right from under Mario's mustache? No one said anything so about keep Mario. Your eyes peeled for that star, and let's make sure Princess Peach gets a taste of that sweet victory. Yee. Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, what? In case you're wondering how the mini games are being done, we have a series of Mario Party related commands that are executing many times per second, which is what you will see above you now. And that is how the mini games are being played. Wario going with the jump technique, actually a pretty good one for this mini game. Wait, he might win it. What? The jump technique is too good. Good news, Wario, you're only a single space away from the star. Do you want to get it? Of course I want to get that star, you imbecile. Okay, man. <laughs> Quit wasting my time with your pointless questions and let's get that star before anyone else has a chance. Yeehaw. <laughs> I can't get over the fact that he just says yeehaw at the end. All right, we just rolled to see the turn order here, Wario. Are you ready to start? Let's get this party started, partner. I'm always ready to make my move and show him who's boss. Yeehaw. <laughs> Dude, his yeehaws are just the worst. Okay, he's playing an item game. I'm gonna let the bot play. Wario, you know what to do, man. You can get an item here. I believe in him. Okay, you just need to... He just needs to walk his way... He's done it. My man. All right, we got to get through the first minigame. Oh, he's in the 1v3. All he has to do is juke them. I think he can win this. Okay, he's literally in the worst spot possible. Oh, nice. They, they suck. Wait, he might win. Five seconds. Three goals to block. Two... Mario choked it! He's done it! That's my Wario right there! He's nuts! They're on normal. Those are normal computers, by the way. Not easy. They just suck. If this works and you guys like it, hopefully we can do more cool stuff like this in the future. Oh, crap! It's time for another minigame, though. This is a mashing one with a little bit of turning. If he gets the right mashes, he could win this. Dude, he could win it! Wait, they can win it. Oh, they're falling behind a little bit. They can bring it back. This is not looking good. They're not falling off somehow. Oh, wow, 30. Dude, again, with the sniffets. Oh, what? We're all the way back here. Oh, I didn't realize someone set it up. All right, I've gathered the star. The next star is still a ways away from you, but it's also fairly far away from everyone else as well. Actually, just kidding, I was lying. It's like 10 spaces away, and they might beat you to it. But, a bit of good news for you. You landed on a lucky space and got a skeleton key. All right, time for our next minigame. Oh, he's not gonna like Slot Car Derby. Ha, I knew it. You can't keep a cowboy like me away from the star for too long. Now, about that skeleton key, with that key in my possession, I'll have the power to unlock new opportunities and pave my way to victory. Yeehaw! <laughs> Dude, look at him! <laughs> What happened out there, Wario? You blundered it on the minigame. Blundered? Blundered? How dare you accuse the great Wario <laughs> of blundering? It was all part of my master plan, partner. I strategically placed myself 15 spaces away from the star to build up the suspense, you see. Oh! And as for my lack of coins, that's all part of my grand scheme, too. Oh, okay. This, dude, these mini games that he's gotten are probably some of the worst ones, though, because they do require specific instruction sets. Like this one, you have to hold the A button down for. Oh, we almost got one, though. Here's the situation, bub. Mario, he beat you to the star. You lost another minigame. Mario is now tied with you. First of all, it's Wario, not Bob Mario. Get it right, partner. <laughs> so Mario managed to stumble his way to a star, huh? Okay. Well, that won't last for long. I may have lost a minigame, but that's just a minor setback for the great Wario. I'll show that plumber who the true star of the show is. So, yeehaw. Let's keep playing, keep winning, and keep making Princess Peach swoon over my victories. <laughs> Giddy up. Giddy up. After rolling a 10, you now have to make a decision. Do you either want to go up, which will loop you around the starting section, or do you want to go left towards the shop? This Wario is unhinged. Going up and looping around the starting section of Horrorland sounds like a waste of time and effort. I'm not interested in taking the scenic route, so we'll head left towards the shop. Okay, let's just do that. All right, we've gone left to the shop, but now you have to make a decision on what to buy. You have seven coins. What do you want to buy? Uh, the sweet smell of options. A skeleton key? No need. I already have one. A mushroom to boost my roll? Tempting, but I prefer relying on my own strength. A cursed <laughs> okay, dice dude. block? Why would I want to curse myself? Not my style. <laughs> A double dice? Now we're talking. With double the chance, double the success shall follow. So, I'll take that double dice for five coins, thank you very much. 
Now watch as I roll my way to victory, leaving Mario and his pathetic attempts in the dust. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> All right, you now have to make another decision. We're at another fork in the road. This is why the turns take so long. We just have to wait on his response, and I have to explain to him the situation every time. I hope at some point he just just confidently wrong. He just goes the wrong direction. Uh, decisions, decisions. Lucky for you, I'm here to make the right choice. Going left and being just 21 spaces away from the star sounds like a piece of cake. I'll take that option. Thank you very much. Dude, he has to make so many decisions. Using my skeleton key to unlock a lucky space and take a detour towards a potential item sounds like a smart move. I'll take that path, partner. <laughs> okay. I'm not afraid to take risks and seize every opportunity uh, for victory. I don't know about that. Let's unlock that lucky space and keep our eyes on the prize. Giddy up. <laughs> Cursed dice block. All right, let's see Wario go. Wario, eat the pizza, man. Wario's not hungry. You're right. Oh, he ate some. He ate He ate a little bit. He ate the crust. Maybe his pizza's not his favorite. All right, Wario, so here's the situation. Thanks to the Sniffit Patrol, you and everyone else in the game are now all the way in the upper right section of the board. You still have the double dice block. What do you want to do? Well, well, well. Looks like those pesky opponents are trying to play dirty with their traps. Why is he Australian? With that double dice block in my possession, I reckon it's time to put it to good use. <laughs> I'll roll both dice and make my move towards the star. Gotta show them I'm not one to be trifled with. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> okay, once the double, dude? Let's do it. We're double dicing it. Why did he become Australian? All right, the bot's taking over. Will he win an item here? This is one that he can win. Skeleton key, not bad. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Four-player minigame. Oh, no, this this is the worst one for him, dude. This is gonna be so bad. He's gonna count to, like, 50. Oh, zero, one, zero, two, three, four. Wait, maybe he'll actually end up at, like, a reasonable number by the end. Wait, this is actually looking good. I mean, not that good. Dude, he wins! What? That's insane. It was just mashing. He is built different, dude. That's why we have Australian Cowboy Wario. Uh-oh, he's getting robbed from. Here, I'm gonna let the bot handle this. Because I'm not playing the game. I'm just the, I'm just the guy navigating. Dude, he's about to get robbed from again. He just got robbed big time. Oh, crap. This is a big one. This could change everything. Coney Island? Oh, God, he's doomed. Dude, there's no way he wins this. Look, if he gets lucky, he could get one. What is he doing, man? <laughs> Dude, he's gonna be pissed whenever I give him the report. Howdy, partner. I've got some very bad news. Things have gone to chaos since we've last spoke. You've got your money stolen from. You lost a versus game. Everything is in shambles. You're still nine spaces away from the star, but you don't have the money to buy it. What do you want to do? Well, partner, it seems like the tides have turned against me. Losing my hard-earned coins and falling behind is a tough pill to swallow. But no need to throw in the towel just yet. With nine He's a fighter. Go, I'll roll the dice and hope for a stroke of luck. Gotta keep fighting till the very end. Yeehaw! <laughs> Dude, why are the yeehaw so aggressive? All right, a bit of an update, sir. You actually made it to the star, but because you didn't have enough money, you couldn't buy it. However, the Sniffets actually pushed you back, so now you're actually not that far away from it again. I may have missed out on that star the first time, but it seems like fate has given me another chance. <laughs> Those snippets may have pushed me back, <laughs> but I won't let that deter me. I'll keep on pushing forward and make sure I have enough. <laughs> All right, a bit of an update here, sir. You have now reached an impasse. You can either continue to go on the same path towards the star, or you can use your skeleton key and take a detour and go down towards the boo, allowing you to steal coins from one of your opponents. While the path towards the star seems tempting, I still don't have enough coins to make it mine. However, the opportunity to potentially steal some coins from my opponents is quite enticing. Considering my current situation, I reckon it's time to take that detour towards the boo okay. and try to even the playing field. Yeehaw. <laughs> That's the saddest yeehaw of all time. All right, partner, I've made it to the boo space for you. You now have to make a decision. Who would you like to steal from? Well, partner, as much as it pains me to do so, I'll have to put my crush on Peach aside for now. In the spirit of competition, I'll choose to steal coins from Mario, my arch nemesis. <laughs> 
It'll give me a small satisfaction to what? see him squirm a bit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a handful of coins from that mustache troublemaker. Yeehaw! <laughs> Okay, let's do it! We're still for Mario! Why did he set it up to make it seem like... Whatever, it's fine. He only got nine coins. I mean, I guess that's more than he had. Oh, hidden block! Sir, great news! You've hit a hidden block! Depending on what we get here, this could change the fate of the game. Well, partner, I must say I'm feeling mighty excited about this hidden block. The possibility of finding some extra coins or even a star has got my heart racing. So let's not keep the suspense going any longer. Open up that hidden block and let's see what fortune has in store for me. Yeehaw! Wario, what the heck is that? We just played a 2v2 of Eats a Pizza with Yoshi on our team, and you didn't contribute at all. You barely even ate the crust. What's that about? Well, 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 if it isn't my trusty assistant trying to pin the blame on me. Let me remind you, partner, that <laughs> I am the great okay. Wario. And I don't waste my time on trivial matters like eating pizza. I have more important things to focus <laughs> on, like securing victory and making Princess Peach swoon. So if Yoshi wants to hog all the slices, that's his problem, not mine. I'm here to make <laughs> the big moves and take the credit for our success, not waste my energy on eating crusts. Now let's get back to the game and show those losers who the real star is. Yeehaw! I'm not gonna lie though, he's getting the worst mini games. This mini game is way too sophisticated for his brain. Oh, nice send. Okay, he's bringing it in slowly. Yoshi. Actually, they all got 16 and he got zero. <laughs> all right, Wario, get it together, man. We're in the final five turns and you're still in second place. You rolled a one, which means you're still 26 away from the star, but you are en route to the boot. I'm the great Wario and I make my own luck. I'll hold on to my double dice block okay. and cursed dice block for now. I have a plan up my sleeve and I'm not about to reveal it just yet. What is the plan? So onward to the boot where I'll make my move and secure the advantage I need to claim victory. Watch and learn, my friend, as Wario pulls off a move that will leave everyone in awe. Yeehaw. Tough luck, bud, because it was nighttime in Horrorland and not daytime. The boo wasn't even there, so you just passed him by. So you're not gonna be able to steal from anyone. Now, what's this master plan of yours? What do you have in mind? Well, 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 it seems Lady Luck is playing tricks on me. <laughs> no boo to be found, huh? No matter, I adapt and overcome. As for my master plan, well, it's simple, really. I'm going to rely on my own skills and cunning to secure victory. Oh, no okay. No need for tricks or gimmicks. I'll show those fools what the true power of Wario can do. So let them underestimate me while I quietly make my moves. <laughs> the final five turns are where champions are made, and I won't let anything stand in my way. Yeehaw. Dude, he's, he has no money. He's so broke. This guy can't win a minigame, he can't land on anything. This guy's got bubkiss. Alright, Wario, here's the situation, man. You still have both of your items, but you only have nine coins. Do you want to use them, or would you rather just roll the dice normally? Nine coins, huh? That's a pitiful amount, even for someone as mighty as me. Uh, but fear not, for I have a plan. What is the plan? I'll hold on to my precious coins for now and roll the dice normally. I trust in my own abilities to make the necessary moves and secure the victory. He rolled a two! No need to rely on items when I have the sheer force of Wario on my side. So let's roll those dice and watch as I inch closer to that star, leaving Mario and his feeble attempts in the dust. Yeehaw. I need him to get to the rain cloud. Oh, oh, oh! He's mashing so many buttons that they're doing nothing for him right now. Dude, this Wario is way more cocky and he sucks at the minigames. Wario 1 was goaded. What happened to this guy? While it may not have been a star, getting enough coins to finally afford one is still a victory in my book. I am back in the game, baby. It's time to head straight for that star and claim what's rightfully mine. All right, you didn't quite get the roll you needed, sir. You rolled an eight instead of the 10 you needed, but we are now at an impasse yet again. There's four ways for you to choose between. While the upper path would bring me tantalizingly close to the star, I'll need a bit of luck on my side to secure it. That is true. As much as I'd love to take that risk, I reckon it's time to play it safe. Let's make a pit stop at the shop and see what goodies await me there. He's taking a, We're taking a pit stop to the shop. I don't know why the haw is different every time. That doesn't make sense to me. Wait, that puts the star next to him. He knew, dude. How did he know? Wait, Mario also knew. This guy's Omega Brain. Mario believers are feeling good right now. 
All right, Wario, a lot has changed since we last spoke. Your arch nemesis Mario beat you to the star and grabbed it for himself. Well, partner, it seems like Mario managed to snatch that star right from under my nose. Oh, yeah, right under your nose. Oh, this is a big one. This is his first shot. Well, partner, with a variety of items on offer, I'll have to think strategically here. I reckon it's time to go all out. I'll go ahead and purchase the custom dice block. It's time to put my money to good use and make a strong comeback. Yeehaw! Bad news, sir. It's not your turn yet, but Mario went right after you and got a second star. Do you have any words for this arch rival of yours? Well, 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 Mario. Look at you with your second star. Can't say I'm impressed, but I won't let it deter me. I may be down for now, but mark my words. I'll rise up and reclaim my rightful place at the top. You may be the hero, but I'm the one with the smarts and tenacity. Just you wait, Mario. I'll show you what a true competitor is capable of. Yay haw! Dude, he started yelling. All right, it's time for another versus mini game. That means everyone will have to pay 20 coins into the pot. Are you ready, Wario? Give me your battle cry. Make it loud and drawn out. Let the heavens know. Yee haw! I'm ready for battle. Let's show them what we're made of, partner. <laughs> okay, let's do it. He got- he didn't even get one! Bad news, partner. We lost the game and lost 20 coins, and guess who won? It was Mario! Well, partner, sometimes in life, things just don't go our way. I'll use this setback as fuel to drive me towards a comeback. I appreciate your efforts and trust in me throughout <laughs> the game. Let's focus on turning things around and proving that we're a formidable team. Together, we'll show them what we're made of. Yeehaw! This guy's too positive. You are 13 spaces away from the star, and you have 54 coins, which is more than enough to pay the 20 needed to buy the star. I reckon it's time to take a calculated risk. I'll use my custom dice block and set it to 10. With that, I'll be able to guarantee that I reach the star this turn no. and secure my first star of the game. It's time to make no, a big can't. move and show them all that Wario is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah! No, you don't understand, man. What I'm telling you is you can't get the star with the 10. But I'll put it to 10. You said 10, I'm doing 10. We're doing it. I'm sending it. Apologies for the confusion, partner. If you've already made the decision to use the custom dice block, then let's go for it. We'll take the risk <laughs> and see where it leads us. I just want to make this clear. You chose the number. Also, you told me to do it, not the other way around. So it's not me making the decision. I'm just doing what you're telling me to do here. Okay, anyways, we are losing sight of the prize, which is the star. We're at a fork in the road. And honestly, based on your behavior, I'm tempted to just choose the down option and throw you out of the game. How do you feel about that? Apologies for any confusion, partner. I understand your frustration, and I appreciate your efforts in guiding our decisions. As for the fork in the road, I reckon it's best to prioritize our goal of reaching the star. It's time to refocus and work together towards our common goal. Yeehaw! Uh, yes, but also, I'm, I'm only doing this because you hired me to do it. By the way, what's my salary? We didn't negotiate that. Can you give me, like, a decent starting rate, please? Apologies for any confusion, but I'm an AI language model <laughs> and unable to hire or negotiate salary. AI Andy over here. All we need to do is roll a three or higher to get the star. Are you ready for this? I'm ready to roll and secure that star. It's time to seize the opportunity and show them all what we're capable of. Yeah. Can you stop doing that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's time to reignite that cowboy spirit. How about we try out a new catchphrase? How about giddy up or saddle up? Let's bring some fresh energy to the game yeah. and keep pushing forward towards victory. Fresh energy. Yeehaw. No. You what? You just yeehawed again anyways. All right, Wario, here's the situation. You have an opportunity to go into the lead. You're one space away from the star. No one can stop you. Yeehaw! Absolutely, partner. Without a doubt, I want to buy that star. We've worked hard, made strategic decisions, and now it's time to reap the rewards. Let's spend those 20 coins, claim that star, and take the lead in this game. Yeehaw! It's time to show them who's the top cowboy in town. Yeehaw! All right, man. Well, we're running out of turns, so how about you let me in on what this master plan of yours is? Tell me what exactly you're cooking. Otherwise, you're going to lose, because right now you got bupkis. Lose? 
Me? Never. My master plan, my secret sauce, is simple yet effective. I've been intentionally holding back, pretending to be down and out, while secretly plotting my ultimate comeback. You see, I've been strategically gathering coins and items, biding my time, waiting what? for the perfect moment to strike. And now in these final turns, I shall unleash my true power and secure victory for myself. Yeehaw. You can't secretly gather coins in Mario Party. Everyone can see them. They always show up. I'm confused on your plan, dude. Oh, chance time! Maybe this is what he meant. Oh, God. Oh, my God! What? How did he do that? I may not always have the most coins or stars, but I have something far more valuable. The indomitable spirit of Wario. <laughs> now he got all philosophical. Wait a minute, Wario. Peach just landed on a chance time and switched your coins with Mario. It seems Lady Luck has finally recognized my true potential. As for the double dice... I'll hold on to it for now. I want to savor the suspense, keep my opponents guessing, and make them tremble in fear as I inch closer to victory. And no, this is not the entirety of my master plan. It's what? just a taste of what's to come. I have more tricks up my sleeve. This guy spent eight turns to go in a circle. What? He got a hidden block. A hidden block, you say? Well, 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 let's see what surprises await me. Whether it's coins or a star, it matters not. <laughs> I am Wario, and I am destined for greatness. Yeehaw. Oh, I think he could win Bill Blasters. This minigame is basically RNG when you're playing it with humans. So, okay, here we go. He's lining up the shot, shoots it completely out of the arena. Actually, no one can hit anyone. Everyone still has full health. This is honestly, this is just appalling. Not even just for him, but for everyone. What am I watching? No, don't take a picture right now, man. We're playing a game. And then he died. Don't, no, stop it. We're not, you're, you're already lost. Dude, why does he keep doing that? Wario, what's the deal, man? You got eliminated first on that last minigame, and then you started spamming screenshots? Oh, God, he landed on chance time, too. Spamming screenshots, you say? Well, let me tell you, my friend, it was a strategic move on my part. You see, I was simply documenting the, the injustice that had occurred. <laughs> Here we go. Another chance time. What? How? Wario, how did you know this was going to happen? Oh god, another chance time! Ha uh ha -huh. Mario's misfortune is just another testament to my superior skills. It's all part of my grand plan, my journey to claim victory. With my newfound wealth, I'll continue to dominate the game and solidify my position as the true champion. Dude, what is this game? Wait, now he also has no money. Wait, she can get the star now and run away with this. Is this typical cheating peach behavior? Dude, he's not even near that. Wait, but she could lose a star on the Bowser space. It is possible. What? Dude, he's gonna get even more money, I think. No, wait, he's gonna lose money, but it'll time with peach, which is good for him, I think. Wario, you're currently playing a 2v2 minigame with your crush, Peach, up against your arch nemesis, Mario and Yoshi. Bro, you're literally punching the car. Why are you trying to punch the driver, man? Punch the rock! What are you doing here? I must have gotten a little carried away there. You're right. I should be focusing on breaking the rocks, not punching the driver. I I'll adjust my <laughs> aim and make sure to target the rocks to clear the pathway effectively. He'll focus on punching the rocks and not the driver. Good adaptation. Unfortunate. All right, it's time for the final five turns. Here is the current situation. You are tied with Yoshi for first place. All right, here we go, a big moment for you. You have rolled enough and made it to the star. You have the opportunity to get a third star. Do you want to get it, yes or no? Absolutely, partner. I want that third star more than anything. With three stars in my possession, victory will be within our grasp. Yee-haw! <laughs> that one sounded painful. Yeehaw! But wait, your turn's not over yet. You've now made it to the shop. Well, partner, with the options laid out, I reckon it's best to make a strategic purchase here. I'll go for the triple dice block. Rolling three dice instead of one will give me a greater chance to cover more ground and potentially secure another star. All right, I've purchased the dice block. You also land on a lucky space and got yourself a skeleton key as well. With the triple dice block and the newly acquired skeleton key, I'm equipped with some valuable tools for success. Now, with the final turns approaching, I'll make sure to utilize these items wisely. 
and make strategic moves to secure my victory. Insane update, sir. Mario has secured a second star and also hit Yoshi with the Bowser coin beam, which means you're now alone in first with three stars and 80 coins. Well, partner, it seems like the tides have turned in our favor once again. With Mario securing a second star and Yoshi losing all his coins, we find ourselves in a prime position. Victory is within our reach. Dude, he could make a, an Omega play here if he uses the triple dice with the key. All right, partner, let's strategize our next move. I'll use the triple dice block to roll three dice instead of one, giving us a greater opportunity to make significant progress. As for the snippet, it's best to avoid any unnecessary setbacks. I'll pay the five <laughs> coins to ensure we can move forward without any interference. <laughs> it's worth the small okay. investment to maintain Whatever, our momentum it's fine. towards victory. Let's roll those dice, pay the snippet, and make our way closer to that star. Yeehaw. Yeah, we'll pay the snippet. All right, sir, you've rolled your triple dice block, and you've begun to move, but you still have 15 spaces left. However, we now reach a very crucial decision. I mean, this should be a no-brainer. You don't have to think much about this, because you can steal it and go towards the star if you go in here. Well, partner, this is indeed a crucial decision. While using the skeleton key to access the skeleton key path and potentially steal a star sounds tempting, I must consider the bigger picture. Right now, my lead is significant with three stars in my possession. <laughs> it's important to maintain that lead and secure the victory. Therefore, I'll choose to take the right path, which will allow me to save the skeleton key. I'll stay focused on the long game and make calculated decisions Dude, to ensure our success. Yeehaw. Hey, you know what? It's fine. He made the decision. I said I wouldn't I, I said I wouldn't try to railroad him. It seemed like such a softball though. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, that did not go well for him. Yeah, even the normal computers will just lose. Even on master mode, they lose like that. Alright, focus up, Wario. We're getting down to the wire here. We're on turn 18 of 20, and I need you to make a decision. You're in the middle of the board, but you have to pick a path. Up, down, left, or right. After evaluating the options, I reckon the best course of action is to go right. Utilizing the skeleton key may open up new paths and opportunities for us to gain an edge over our competitors. Okay. We're getting closer to victory, and I won't let anything stand in our way. Yeehaw. Dude, he can win Dinger Derby. All you have to do is mash A and hope you hit the ball. Okay, good start, good start. He's gonna get one in a second. He's gonna, okay, he can win, okay. He can, okay, you can still, you can still win. Dang, pretty close though. All right, Wario, a lot has happened here, so you better listen up. First off, you still have two items, and with two turns left, you probably want to consider using them. You are 44 spaces away from the star right now, and you're running out of time to get there. Ah, uh, the plot thickens, but fear not, for Wario always has a plan. I know. With two turns left and victory hanging in the balance, it's time to make some bold moves. I will use my cursed dice block to limit another player's role, specifically targeting Peach. I may be far away, but I won't let that deter me. I'll use every trick in the book to make my way to victory. We're not done yet, sir. You are at the shop on turn nine. If you buy an item here, you can potentially use it on the next turn. Ah, the shop, a place where dreams can be bought. With victory within my grasp, I will purchase the chomp call for 12 coins. By changing the location of the star, I can manipulate the game to my advantage. So let the others spend their coins on mere trinkets. <laughs> <laughs> I, Wario, will make the strategic choice and ensure my path to victory remains unchallenged. Yeehaw. All right, Wario, here's the situation. We're on turn 10 out of 10. If you have any items you want to use, you have to do it here. Otherwise, they will go unused. You are one space away from Mr. I, who will teleport you to the lower portion of the map, which might allow you to get close enough to get the star if you get a high enough roll. Or you can choose to use no items and go on about your business. I didn't mean to do that. The controller fell out of my hands. Let's let's reload the uh, the safe. Well, well, well. It seems like you've had quite the commotion there, partner. <laughs> True. With the final turn upon us, it's time to make a decisive move. I shall use my chomp call to change the location of the star. I didn't even ask for you to do that. Potentially placing it within my reach. As for Mr. I, well, I'll gladly pay the six coins to be teleported to the lower portion of the map. Prepare yourself for the grand finale, my friend, as Wario <laughs> unleashes his full power and secures the ultimate victory. Yeehaw. Okay, okay, just to verify, you want me to use the chomp call first and then pay Mr. I, is this correct? No, 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 you've got it all wrong, what? partner. I want you to pay Mr. I first. 
to be teleported to the lower no. <laughs> portion of the map. Then once I'm in a better position, I'll use the chomp call to you change the location that. of the star. It's all about strategic planning and making the most of my opportunity. So, no, you can't let's do get that. our priorities I need you to understand. You listen up, bud. Okay, the right I might order. be your assistant. Victory but is within reach. Sass right and now. I won't let you either use the chomp call first, Yeehaw. or you don't use it at all. Uh, my apologies for the confusion, partner. You are indeed <laughs> correct. Thank you for setting me straight and keeping me on track. It seems even the mighty Wario can make mistakes now he's shy. from time to time. So, with that in mind, let's make the necessary move and seize the opportunity to secure victory. Yeehaw. Thank you. You can bring the sass back now. We just had a moment there, okay? Anyways, I've used the fleet. You still can't get to the star, but you do have the option to pay Mr. I. If you pay Mr. I, you will land on an item game space, which you can't use because it's the final turn. Ah, the final moments of this grand adventure. It seems I have a choice to make, huh? Well, let me tell you, partner. I'm not one to back down from a challenge. I will pay Mr. I and take my chances with the red or item That space. is the worst move! So let's make that payment, face the unknown, and see what fate has in store for Wario. Yeehaw! You landed on an item minigame space, and since it's the last turn, nothing happens. I've faced greater challenges than a simple empty item minigame space. So, let's keep our heads held high, push through the disappointment, and focus on the next adventure that lies ahead. The game may be coming to a close, but the spirit of Wario will never be extinguished. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Guys, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think this I think this Wario might be able to win. If he gets the star here, it might be solidified. I don't see a way that the other guys can win. You bet, partner. <laughs> I'm ready to roll and seal the deal. With a comfortable lead and only five spaces away from the star, victory you bet, is within our partner. grasp. Let's give it our all and make this final move count. Dude, he's actually wrecking right now. This guy's this guy's putting in the work. Alright, here we go. One of the final minigames. One that I think he actually stands a good chance of winning. Good luck out there, Wario. Dude, he's actually going the right direction. He's actually going the right way. Okay, no, never mind. Now he's not. Wait, he's going. He's bringing it back. He's a little slow to catch up, but he'll get there. Okay, okay. Ooh, Wario contributed. All right, here we go. Final turn. This is a big moment. Wario, sir, it's been an honor. We're in the final turn. You have one dice roll to go. You're 12 away from the star, and you have no items, so you can't get there, but... Do you have anything you'd like to say to me before we approach the end of the game? Partner, it's been a wild ride, hasn't it? We've faced challenges, made strategic decisions, and come out on top. I want to thank you for being by my side throughout this journey. Together, we've shown everyone the true power of Wario and what we're capable of. No matter the outcome of this final turn, I want you to know that we've given it our all. We've played with strategy, determination, and a whole lot of Wario spirit. It's been an honor to have you as my partner in this game of Mario Party. Let's finish this game strong and end it with a big yeehaw. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Wow, that was motivational. Dude, he got trolled. The star's right behind him. But he can still steal a star. Oh, he's going. A bit of bad news, sir. It looks like it was all done and dusted, but Mario, in his final turn, has reached the boo and stolen a star from you. And while we are still in first, he now has the same number of stars and is only about 30 coins behind us now. Well, partner, it seems that Mario had one last trick up his sleeve. Losing a star to him in the final turn is indeed disheartening, but let's not let it dampen our spirits. We'll make the most of this last turn and secure our position as the true winner of Mario Party. Yee-haw! Yee-haw! All right, here we go, guys. It all comes down to the bonus, Stars. It all comes down to the bonus. All right, Wario. You finished in third place, but you can still win if you get the right bonus stars. If there was any time to unveil your master plan, it would be right now. Ah, uh, the bonus stars, the wild cards of victory. While they may be random, I, Wario, always have a plan in motion. So let me unveil a glimpse of my master plan. I anticipate that the bonus stars will align in my favor. Okay. The first bonus star shall be the coin collector star, rewarding the player who amassed the most that coins was not throughout you. the game. That was not you. The second bonus star shall be the minigame maestro star, recognizing the player with the most victories in minigames. My superior skills and cunning strategies have surely secured this star as well. So. 
Fear not, my friend, for victory shall be mine through the power of the bonus stars. Yeehaw! Okay, very nice. Let's see. The first bonus star was revealed to be item bonus for the player who used the most items. Everyone gets it. It's still winnable. And we got it. You got the bonus star. The second bonus is the eventful bonus for the player who landed on the most event spaces. Of course, that bonus star would be mine. Wario is known for his eventful adventures. It's only fitting that I would be the one to claim the eventful bonus. Prepare yourself for the ultimate Wario victory. Yeehaw. Here we go. And the bonus goes to... Peach! Sir, I think you've done it with the bonus star secured. You have secured victory on Spaceland and taken down not only your arch nemesis, but everyone on the board. He's lost it. Another win for Princess Peach. What? How could this happen to Wario? Yeehaw. Victory is ours, partner. With the bonus star secured and our triumph over Mario and the rest of the competition, we've proven once again that Wario is the true superstar of Mario Party. Well, 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 if it ain't Mr. Know-It-All. Listen up, you pathetic little plum. I may have made a few questionable moves, but the fact remains that the real problem here is your lack of skill. Whoa! Yeah, you that's said right, I said it. You issue? couldn't even win a game of Mario Party what? if your life depended on it. I want to thank you for your support and for being by my side throughout this journey. And guess what? It's all your fault. What? You think you can just blame me for your own incompetence? Think again, loser. <laughs> but let's not forget the real star of the show, Princess Peach. She came in first, huh? Well, that's no surprise, because I always make sure to prioritize her happiness. Oh. Unlike you, I actually care about someone other than myself. Wow, so dude. Don't... We've strategized, made bold moves, and emerged as the ultimate champion. It's a moment to celebrate and savor. And as for Yoshi, that green dino can go chew on some grass for all I care. <laughs> so let's raise our voices and cheer for this momentous occasion. Let the world hear our battle yes! cry of triumph. Where is 